India has reached a major milestone in the global race for artificial intelligence. According to Stanford University's 2025 Global AI Index, India now ranks third in the world for AI vibrancy behind only the United States and China. In just one year, India jumped four positions. It's moved ahead of countries like the United Kingdom, Japan, South Korea and Singapore. This rise is not just symbolic. It reflects deep changes happening across India's research ecosystem, talent pool, infrastructure and real-world use of artificial intelligence. So why does this ranking matter and what does it really say about India's position in the global AI landscape? To understand that, we first need to understand what the Global AI Index actually means. Stanford University's Global AI Vibrancy Index is one of the most respected assessments of AI competitiveness worldwide. The index measures AI performance across seven key pillars – research and development, responsible AI, economy, talent, policy and governance, public opinion and infrastructure. Together, these pillars offer a holistic view. Not just who is investing the most money, but who is building sustainable, scalable and trusted AI systems. In the 2024 assessment, which forms the basis of the 2025 rankings, India scored 21.59 points. That placed it ahead of several advanced economies and established it as the third most competitive AI nation globally. The top two positions remain with the United States, which scored 78.6 and China with 36.95. The gap may look significant, but India's placement just behind these two global leaders is itself a notable achievement. What makes India's ranking even more striking is the speed of its rise. In 2023, India stood at the seventh place. Within a year, it climbed to third, overtaking countries with long-established tech leadership. Both India and the UK launched major AI initiatives during this period, but India's progress across multiple pillars helped it pull ahead. India made steady improvements across research output, talent development, infrastructure availability and economic impact. One of the strongest contributors to India's rise is its research performance. The Stanford AI Index notes a significant increase in scientific publications and patent filings coming out of India. In fact, India now accounts for 9.2% of global AI research publications, which is slightly more than the United States. This level of intellectual engagement shows that India is not only adopting AI technologies developed elsewhere, but also contributing actively to global AI knowledge. Indian universities, research institutions and private labs are increasingly publishing work that influences how AI systems are built and applied. This research strength forms the foundation of long-term innovation. Further, India's biggest advantage is its AI talent. According to the Stanford AI Index report, India has 2.5 times more AI-skilled professionals than the global average. This large and growing talent pool has been a major reason why global tech companies continue to bet on India's AI future. Engineering colleges, online training platforms and industry-led skill development programs have expanded rapidly. Together, they are creating a workforce that's capable of building, deploying and managing AI systems at scale. But the report also points out a challenge. India has historically struggled to retain its top AI developers, many of whom move abroad for better opportunities. Experts say that the current tightening of overseas work visas offers India a window to retain domestic talent and attract Indian origin professionals back home. They also say that this could be possible if the right incentives are in place for these high-skilled professionals. Global confidence in India's AI potential is also visible in the scale of investments being announced. Microsoft's CEO Satya Nadella recently announced the company's largest ever investment in Asia. The company is going to invest $17.5 billion in India to build AI infrastructure, skills, 
and sovereign capabilities. Another tech giant, Amazon, followed with an even larger commitment. It will invest over $35 billion by 2030 with a significant portion directed towards AI, cloud computing and logistics infrastructure. Earlier, companies like Intel, Cognizant and OpenAI also announced collaborations and investment plans in India. Intel, for example, partnered with Tata Electronics to manufacture chips locally. This is a crucial step towards strengthening the physical backbone of AI. These investments will significantly benefit India's journey to becoming one of the world's leading AI hubs amidst growing competition with the United States and China. AI innovation depends heavily on access to computing power. Recognizing this, the Indian government launched the India AI mission in March 2024. The goal was to build a strong, inclusive and homegrown AI ecosystem. And in less than 18 months, the mission expanded affordable access to compute infrastructure by making over 38,000 GPUs available to startups, researchers and academic institutions through a common compute facility. This move lowered entry barriers for innovation, allowing smaller players to experiment, train models and build applications without massive upfront costs. The government has also begun supplying high-end computing chips to universities and startups with the aim of developing a sovereign large language model comparable to OpenAI's models or China's DeepSeek. According to India's Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, this model is designed to support more than 22 Indian languages. But the question is, why does sovereign AI matter? Let's understand why it's important. The government has openly acknowledged the risks of over-dependence on foreign AI platforms. There are concerns over surveillance, data security and potential sanctions. Building domestic AI capabilities allows India to maintain greater control over sensitive data while tailoring AI systems to local languages, cultures and use cases. Another important factor highlighted in the Stanford report is responsible AI. Responsible AI practices help build public trust and reduce potential harm from misuse or bias. India's performance in this area contributed positively to its overall ranking, reflecting growing awareness around ethical AI deployment. Public sentiment also plays a role. In India, AI adoption has been rapid, especially in consumer-facing applications. As people increasingly interact with AI-powered services, public perception shapes how widely these technologies are accepted. India's AI edge may not lie in building the most expensive frontier models, but in how AI is used downstream. Experts say that India is seeing a surge in AI-powered consumer applications, with startup investments in the space doubling from last year. Now, many of these startups are focused on solving practical problems for people who are still on the wrong side of the digital divide. One example is Mahavistar. It is an AI-powered app that's run by the Maharashtra government. It delivers agricultural advice in Marathi to more than 15 million farmers, helping them make informed decisions using accessible technology. This kind of application highlights a key strength of India's AI journey, using advanced tools to create large-scale social impact. India's Third place ranking in the Global AI Index highlights how far the country has progressed in a short span of time. More importantly, it shows how artificial intelligence in India is being developed, deployed and used at scale so that it can touch millions of lives. That's all in this edition of Connecting the Dots. We'll see you in the next episode with more raging issues. Until then, it's a goodbye from all of us in the Delhi newsroom. This is Munmun Bhattacharya signing off. Take care and stay safe.